I think what Caesar represents, uh, finally, he, his, his struggle to understand power and responsibility is what makes him an interesting character because he's, he's not, he doesn't come out of this as uh, someone who wants to dominate either the humanity or, or, or his own kind. He wants to lead uh, in a, in a d democratic way. And he, he, the film, really, for me, the whole film is about empathy. And um, so I think I think as a character sees a, part of his emotional intelligence and why and why this film isn't sort of saying you know apes are good humans are bad is because he, he is um, not only is he a, an extraordinarily clever and uh, ape but he also has learnt empathy and he has learnt and he has a very advanced emotional intelligence and I think you know any any great leader that's something to aspire to. <laughs> Um, it, it was very important to me when, uh, way back in uh, 2004, when I was researching King Kong, to spend a lot of time with with apes, and so I had a, a base uh, level of understanding. From uh, I, I studied apes, uh, gorillas in zoos for months, and then I went to Rwanda and studied mountain gorillas. And when I was there, I met uh, an orphan chimpanzee and spent some time with him as well. And then when we came to make this movie. Um, you know, I went to zoos, but also watched a lot of footage of, of one particular ape. Because really, Caesar is an exceptional ape, and I w and the challenge for me wasn't just about creating a physical ape, mimicking ape behaviour. It's about it's about understanding who Caesar is as a character, and so he has he's an ape with enhanced intelligence. So, uh, so we found, or I, I'd remembered researching an ape called Oliver, who in the 1970s was known as the Humanzi. People believed he was the missing link, and he walked bipedally, and he displayed facial expressions and um, and behaviour because he was brought up by humans that that were, were you know similar to human behaviour. So so uh, so it's really all the time that really the the, the physical behaviour is is the first step of, of of creating the character. It's it's more about understanding the um, uh, the emotional journey, the psychological development, and and the yeah and the cognitive development too. Performance capture technology is a, um, basically a tool which is another way of recording an actor's performance. So it doesn't, it doesn't enhance or change the actor's performance. It's, it's a, a very transparent, it's basically another set of cameras. So what we were able to do on this film was James Franco, for instance, was shot on, on, on cameras and then the performance capture cameras filmed my performance. But it's the bringing together which is the, the big step forward uh, this, this time. But it's in terms of the emotional connectivity uh, uh, and, and the playing of the role, that's what it allows you to do. That you're doing no more than you're acting with your fellow actor and, and, and experiencing the same thing at the same moment. But you're not covered in a suit, a monkey suit with a prosthetic makeup on. It allows you to uh, play very subtly the emotions and the thoughts of the character with, with markers that translate your facial expressions into the digital character.